doesn't take much retro engineering to make a dinosaur if you start with a dinosaur. Um, basically, you know, the notion is that because evolution works, the dinosaur to bird transition, the, basically the animal loses its tail and it gains a wing and it loses its teeth. And, and basically all you have to do is just go back and you know, you can probably do most of that in the embryo, but genetically would be even better. So you just, you know, animals carry ancestral genes with them. We have ancestral genes and all you have to do is figure out which ones they are and turn them on. You know, you hear the, the term rare as hen's teeth. Basically, it means that hens every once in a while have teeth. I mean, that, that characteristic is still there. So you could find the gene that switches it on and, and make chickens with teeth. Um, and the long tail. During embryogenesis, the, the, a, a bird has a three-fingered hand. And then that all fuses together to make the wing. So if you could stop that from happening, you could, have a, you could basically end up with a, a bird with you know, a three-fingered hand, a long tail, and teeth. What would you call that? Dinosaur. <laughs> oh, a scary chicken. Yeah, I guess so. It's not something you want for dinner. <laughs> right. It's really about, about, you know, thinking about how evolution works. And, you know, it's not about making a, a dinosaur chicken exactly, but it is about figuring out how this stuff works so that we can use it to our advantage. And so there, you know, obviously there's, if we can figure out how to turn on and off genes, that would help us a lot.